Next, we will add some basic content to the page. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. Go to the Studio tab in the left column and search for Heading. Click and drag the heading onto the canvas. You will see that the heading appears both on the canvas and also in the overview panel in the bottom of the left column. Repeat the last couple of steps to add a paragraph below the heading. Select the paragraph. A number of icons appear above the paragraph. Move to move the paragraph to another location. Select parent. The parent of an element is the element within which it is contained. You can easily find it in the overview panel. In this case, the body element is the parent of the paragraph and the HTML element is a parent of the body. Edit modifies the text in the paragraph. Duplicate makes a copy of the selected element. Hide makes the selected element invisible and delete removes the selected element. Let's edit the paragraph. You can also do this by double clicking on the element in the canvas. Let's type the following text. A simple text formatting bar appears. And let's do the same with the heading. When you select the heading, you notice an extra option which you can use to set the level of the heading. Let's keep it on H1 for now. And let's change the text to Welcome. Now that we know how to add some basic elements, let's also learn how to do some basic formatting. Select a component and go to the Appearance panel. We see the following. In the top of the panel, we see the currently selected element in blue as well as its parents. Below that, we have a drop down menu with the option Style Attribute. Style Attribute lets us format the currently selected block. Below that, we have all sorts of formatting options categorized under various headings, including layout, font, etc. You can click on the triangles to open or collapse the categories. So first of all, we select the paragraph and make sure that style attribute is selected in the drop-down list. On the font color, we can set the color of the text. I will set the color of my font to blue. You can pick any color you like. Next, we will set the background color of the body. Select the body in the overview panel. Under background, BG color, click on the white square to select a non-standard color. I will set the background color of my background to light beige. There are many more things that we can format here. Most of these things are self-evident. And those which are not that self-evident, you can easily find information about them by searching for them on Google. In this course, we will cover many of these options, but not all of them. As you know, the website we have made will eventually be exported to HTML and CSS files. These files can be inspected quite easily in Bootstrap Studios. On the bottom of the window you will see a panel containing two tabs, HTML and Styles. Click and drag the top of the border of the panel to pull it up. In the HTML tab you see HTML code for the document. Click on the triangles to open and collapse different elements. It's not necessary to understand too much here, but hopefully you will recognize at least some of the tags. When adding new components to the canvas, the HTML code will automatically be updated. Below the HTML panel, there is an attribute panel. Here you can add and inspect the ID, classes and other attributes. The Styles tab shows all the formatting relevant for the selected element. Selecting the paragraph, you see that the element inherits some styling from the parent, and also the margin has been set by the Bootstrap framework. We also see where we have colored the font blue. 
So one good thing about working in this way is that it's super easy to learn more about HTML and CSS. So if you are in a curious mood, just drag and drop some element into your page and see how it affects the code. So I think that's enough for one video. In the next video, we will learn more about margins and padding. See you then. Bye bye. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing. You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.